Chronic kidney disease does not have to lead to dialysis or a kidney transplant. I know it might be hard to believe. I know you've probably heard over and over from doctors and specialists that kidney disease only ever runs in one direction, and that's from bad to worse. I know how frightened and frustrated and angry this must make you feel. But imagine for just one moment, what if doctors and specialists do not know everything there is to know about chronic kidney disease? And what if there is a real treatment option? And what if it's something that thousands of people have already benefited from? In fact, there is hope for reversing kidney disease. And in this short video, I'll prove it to you. Let me start by telling you a story from personal experience. It's about my wife's nana, Isabel. At age 73, she was continually experiencing pain and fatigue. So my wife, Fiona, looked over her grandmother's blood tests. The blood tests showed her GFR was at 30, which meant she had borderline stage four kidney disease. Fiona and I were shocked at our findings and angry with the doctors who had failed to notice it too, or so we thought. When Nana went back and asked why he hadn't told her about her declining kidney function for the past few years, he just said, with chronic kidney disease, dialysis will be your only option. So I didn't feel the need to mention it yet. Now you can imagine, Nana was dumbfounded. Suddenly, the years and years Nana still thought she had ahead of her started to fade away in her mind. Instead, she imagined a future hooked up to machines. In her mind, she was handed, well, not a death sentence, but not something far from it either. But true to her fiery Scottish nature, Isabel put those fears aside and became determined to fight back, to prove the doctor's prognosis wrong and to ensure several more happy, healthy years for herself. So Fiona and I got to work finding an alternative health solution using all natural treatments. Despite our medical backgrounds in naturopathic medicine, we still knew that understanding kidney reversal from a holistic perspective takes plenty of research. And it did. After reviewing countless peer-reviewed journals, clinical trials, and other medical literature, we put together an all-natural program that we believed could save Nana. And we got right to implementing what we had learned. Because here's the thing, contrary to the typical message you'll hear from doctors that can be so disheartening, there are options. In fact, there was a treatment option that I'll tell you about, which Nana started on almost right away. Her very first checkup, just 12 weeks later, her kidney function had already begun to improve. Nana told us how puzzled the doctor was when he saw the new set of lab results. This kind of improvement was not supposed to happen. And yet there it was. Her creatinine had gone down, her GFR had gone up, and at her six month checkup, she went back to her doctor to give him a piece of her mind. Why? Because her kidney function had greatly improved without dialysis. Actually, her kidney function doubled and she went from having borderline stage four kidney disease to having stage one. She got her life back so she could live like any normal and healthy person, being happy, being energetic, enjoying her family. I can tell you this, this was not a miracle, not a fluke and not a temporary thing either. In fact, when she passed at age 83, her kidney function had remained near perfect. She never had to go on dialysis. She never suffered the cascade of negative health effects, not a sign of fatigue, no disease, and definitely no dialysis machine to tie her down. Thankfully, the doctor had been wrong, and Nana would enjoy 10 more happy, laughter-filled years. But you need to know something. Our Nana is not the only one to live out this kind of story. I know of thousands of people who have seen improvements in their kidney function. Some who were already on dialysis could reduce the frequency of treatments. Others avoided dialysis altogether, and like Nana, continued to live happy and perfectly normal lives. Either way, all these people experienced big improvements in their health and their quality of life. I'll tell you how. There are four key points. The first thing to know is that there's good scientific research that points the way to how kidneys can be healed. In fact, this research is lying around in plain sight. For example, consider this medical study performed by doctors at the Halberg Medical Hospital Research Institute in India. They looked at a group of 97 kidney disease patients, some of whom were already on dialysis and others who weren't there yet. And the doctors treated these people with a nutritional supplement over a period of just 12 weeks. You know what the results were? Creatinine and urea nitrogen dropped significantly. And the number of people on dialysis? that number was cut in half. The crazy thing is, this little supplement is just one approach that can be used to treat impaired kidney function. Here's a second study performed at the Chibe Institute of Technology in Japan. 80 patients with kidney failure who were undergoing dialysis started taking a supplement tablet. And after just four weeks, the scientists observed significant drops in urea and creatinine levels in those patients. Even more importantly, physical strength, appetite, and sleep of patients in the test group improved significantly compared to the control. That means that even when kidney function has already progressed to the point of dialysis, there are reported scientific treatments for reversing that damage and improving quality of life. And like I said, this information is hiding out there in plain sight. If your doctors would get their nose out of 30 year old textbooks and just look at the research that's come out in the past five or 10 years, they might not be so quick to dismiss you and tell you that you have to watch your kidneys go down the tubes. But that's not all. The second thing you have to know is that Western medicine, while it can be a lifesaver in some situations, isn't the only effective healing approach. In particular, traditional Chinese medicine has been treating kidney problems for thousands of years. And these treatments are evidence-based, meaning that people get better. And that's even being shown today in scientific studies. And just so we're clear, I'm not talking about going down to a little corner shop and buying bags of roots and powders that you boil into a tea at home. Instead, I'm talking about herbal medicines that come in controlled, measured tablets and capsules from top level supplement companies, which guarantee quality and purity and the right levels of active constituents. So for example, there's a third study I want you to know about. It's about just such a herb that's used in Chinese medicine to help kidney function. 
Scientists in Korea did a study to see whether this is just a folk myth or whether this herb actually helps with kidney function. And you know what they found? Medical markers of kidney disease, such as creatinine level, urinary protein excretion, and glomerulosclerosis, all went down after taking this little known Chinese herb for just six weeks. This is something your doctor would probably say should never happen. Kidneys don't ever get better, right? Yes, they do. It's just that these alternative methods of treating kidney disease aren't known in the West yet. And that's why it's easy for conventional doctors to say, nope, it won't happen, and your kidney function will only get worse. Another crucial element to wellness, kidney related or not, is the power of the mind over the healing process. Many Western doctors would quickly dismiss the idea that mind-body exercises, like meditation or yoga, could help you heal faster, or at all. But you'd be surprised at just how much power your mind has in the healing process that's now verified by science. Not just power over your mental state or your mental health, but also power over the way your body heals and the way you literally feel every day. You can have all the scientific research and medicines in the world, but if your mind can't stop imagining life on dialysis and you're constantly living in fear of what may come, it's going to be a much harder and slower road to recovery. Thankfully, there are a whole host of powerful techniques, from breathing exercises, to meditation practices, to mindfulness activities, that work to strengthen the mind, while at the same time, improving the body's ability to heal. Now, the third thing I want you to know about is diet. As you can imagine, diet is critical to healing your kidney disease, and in fact, for your overall health. The thing is, the conventional advice you're getting, things like reduce your sodium intake, or eat foods that are low in potassium, well, that advice is pretty one-sided, and here's why. Yes, potassium and sodium are minerals involved in kidney health, and if you eat foods that are high in them, this can harm your kidney function. But only focusing on eating low potassium foods means that you might end up eating foods such as refined white bread that are actually contributing to health problems, including kidney disease, and vice versa. You might be missing out on some foods, such as certain fruits and vegetables that can actually help you heal. In short, you'll need a comprehensive and thoughtful approach to diet if you want to heal your kidneys. I'll tell you more about the approach I recommend in just a minute. The fourth point to know is that you have to address the unique cause of kidney disease. There are over a dozen known causes, starting with diabetes, high blood pressure, glomerular diseases, and inflammatory kidney conditions. And to really allow your kidneys to recover and regenerate, and this should be common sense, you'll have to deal with your specific root cause. Otherwise, whatever caused your kidney damage in the first place will keep eating away at your kidney function until you do have to wind up on dialysis or get a transplant, which is something I want to help you avoid as much as possible. So what I'm telling you is that you need to have a complete plan and solution that looks at your whole body, that looks at your unique causes of kidney disease, that looks at lifestyle factors such as your diet, and that gives you the best shot at recovery by taking advantage of the most recent scientific research, as well as the healing traditions from other cultures that most doctors in the West simply don't know about yet. That's the system that Fiona and I started developing with Nana and that allowed her to recover from kidney disease and stay healthy and happy and hopeful. And it's the same solution that I've perfected for more than a decade now and that I've offered to thousands of people who've had equally positive results. 